Okay, so uh, in this part of the uh, uh, test, let's talk about chocolate. Do you like chocolate? Well, I suppose by the look of me, uh, you can see that I definitely have got a sweet tooth. And yes, I do enjoy chocolate. Uh, that's one of my favorite desserts, to be, exact, to be precise. Okay. And yeah, personally, I, I have a sweet tooth as well. And I adore that melt in my mouth feeling every time I pop mm -hmm. a piece of chocolate in my mouth. Um, but I try to be um, on a diet and try to try to keep to a diet and try to reduce subcutaneous fat deposits. I also go to the gym. So mm -hmm. like, like, by combining these two things. So if I stay away from, from chocolate completely, uh, then it's, it's fine for me. But once I, stay, uh, I eat a piece, I want to eat the whole bar. So yeah. <laughs> and then I can't resist. I can't. I can't resist the, that temptation. But if I just don't eat chocolate at all, that's fine with me. And did you like eating chocolate as a child? Well, uh, that I did. Not that I had an opportunity to do that very often. The thing is that when I was a child, there was not much choice in terms of what we could buy, and consequently of what we could eat, and. Um, the chocolate was not that good back then. Uh, I mean, the quality of it, I don't really know what ingredients they used. I, I believe that they used a lot of palm oil and uh, cocoa powder mixed. And the chocolate had this really, really tangy uh, texture. It, it felt like it was plasticine or something like, felt like it was some modeling clay. So it didn't melt, it was this, it had this stringy feeling. Um, so even though I enjoyed eating chocolate, um, there were certainly some downsides to it, but I learned about those downsides only years later when I had an opportunity to compare. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I, I definitely liked eating chocolate as a child, I would say, but I have an, a funny story to tell, and that's, that's a true story. Uh, when I was knee high to a grasshopper, when I was a toddler. Yeah, Yuri, I lost you. Oh, uh, okay. So, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So, I, I, have, any, um, I have a funny story to tell, and that's a, that's a true one. Uh, it's not, not just for IELTS purposes. Um, so, when I was knee high to a grasshopper, when I was a toddler, uh, my parents, until I was around three years old, they didn't give me anything. And I lost you again. Oh, okay. Um, um, I don't know why that happens. Okay. So can you hear me now? Yeah, I can. Uh, so th there was this pause after my parents. All right, all right. So um, just once again, uh, when I was knee high to a grasshopper, and when I was when I was a toddler, uh, my parents didn't let me eat. Um, uh, didn't didn't give me any sweet sweet things until I was around three years old. Mm, and, uh, yeah. and one of you know, something's going on with your microphone, I guess, because you keep okay. disappearing. One, two, three, one. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three. I cannot hear. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Um, but you start speaking and then suddenly there this this pause and nothing. I, I believe it should be the connection, either my connection or your connection, but uh, here, uh, here in the Philippines, I think like in my current apartment, my connection is just um, perfect. But okay, let's uh, do. Are there still uh, are there still pauses in my um, speaking? Uh, like... Not for now. Okay, but let's just let's let's start over. I'll try to start over again. Just let me know if uh, if there are any pauses again. So um, when I was a, like a little kid, my parents didn't didn't give me any sweet things. Uh, until I was around three, three years old. And so um, one of like my mom's best friend, she told me a story later that when I was two and a half years old, she came or maybe three years old, she came to visit us and said, would you like a candy? And I said, yes. And what is it? Mm -hmm. so, um, and I, but uh, like later uh, when I was uh, like maybe six, seven or in my teen years, uh, I, I really liked um, I really like chocolate and I, I still do. I would say like, it's my favorite. I wouldn't call this food. I mean, if I, if, if somebody said like, uh, what's your favorite food? Like, if any of my students say like, what's your favorite food? 
and uh, and if they say chocolate, I say, well, chocolate is not food; <laughs> uh, it's junk food. Um, okay. Uh -huh. So, have you ever given chocolate as a gift? Mm, um, I can't be completely sure, but off the top of my head, probably I did. Uh, because it's a typical present. It's something that you would typically give to someone uh, along with flowers, a bunch of flowers uh, and some other presents. Um, I would probably uh, present someone I know who, lo who loves chocolate with a box of, let's say, chocolate sweets. Or maybe if, uh, if I'm traveling somewhere, I might bring a box of chocolates or some local chocolate as a souvenir uh, for my family and friends. Okay. Um, well, I, I cannot think of any instances when I gave chocolate as a gift. Um, probably, uh, well, maybe as an exciting sweet surprise for children. Um, some people say that uh, chocolate symbolizes affection, attraction, uh, mm -hmm. something like this. Um, yeah, well, I, I don't remember giving chocolate as a gift, probably, or maybe like as a group of students, we sometimes gave like chocolate boxes as presents uh, to our teachers at the end of the course, something like this, but that's probably it. Um, okay, so um, how, how often do you eat chocolate? Well, that's hard to say. I mean, there is no regularity in that. Um, but that happens quite often at the same time. So it, it all depends upon how often my husband buys um, a bar of chocolate or two for me. Sometimes he buys more if there is uh, a discount um, at the moment. And then when I know that there are uh, several bars of chocolate uh, in my apartment, there is no way I can I can stay away from them. So I would eat them. I would gobble them up, maybe even a bar a day. Um, so yeah, something like that. All right. Well, as for me, had you asked me this question, let's say uh, five years ago, I would have said that I did it on a regular basis. Um, but having said that now, um, I, try, I try to eat it once in a blue moon. Just as I as, mm -hmm. as I already mentioned, as you might have already understood, I'm um, I'm trying to lose weight, and um, that's why I, I try to stay away from it. Uh, but yeah, whenever I start, then I eat a lot. But th these are rare instances. Mm -hmm. So why do you think chocolate is popular all over the world? Well, I believe that it all boils down to the primordial times when we were, you know, like those hunter gatherers and something that was really nutritious and gave us this uh, rush of uh, energy uh, was something deemed as really useful and beneficial. And so people really were looking for opportunities to eat something fast so that they could replenish their energy um, really, really quickly. And that has to do with that. So our brains still need energy and um, subconsciously um, it sends those signals of pleasure and delight when we eat something, when we ingest something sweet like chocolate. And that's one of the reasons. Another reason is that uh, chocolate is considered to be an effort dessert and uh, it wakes up those sensual pleasures and desires in us. So, and since it's connected with pleasure in our minds, that is why we are looking for opportunities to consume chocolate as well. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I would also, I can also say that one of the possible reasons why chocolate is hugely popular around the globe is the fact that um, uh, this kind of a treat that many people just can't resist. And uh, on top of that, you can also have it as a snack. You can have it in a dessert, in a drink, in a drink, or even in a savory dish. So, and possibly one more reason is that chocolate um, can bring back so many happy memories. Like many, uh, probably many people feel this way and that's why it enjoys great popularity. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the last question, and 
I think like some people can be puzzled if they hear this question, but like, what's your favorite um, flavor of chocolate? Well, I'm not puzzled at all because I know my chocolate and I know my tastes. I have known that for a while. That's definitely dark chocolate. I relish this bitter taste of it. Um, so there is a tinge of uh, bitterness in it, yet it is sweet. And I also enjoy the way it melts and leaves this velvety um, sensation uh, in my mouth. And there's one more flavor that I absolutely adore and uh, crave. Uh, my guilty pleasure is uh, yet again, dark chocolate, bitter chocolate with uh, mint. Uh, I suppose that this is the combination of uh, bitter sweet and uh, really, really savory that the mint offers into the mix is the one that makes it a big hit for me. Okay. Um, and personally, I really enjoy the taste of milk chocolate with hazelnut in it. It's my favorite. Mm -hmm. You know, that like the creamy and smooth texture of the milk chocolate, it pairs perfectly with the nutty and slightly sweet flavor of the hazelnuts. And on top mm -hmm. of that, um, the hazelnuts, they add a nice crunch to the chocolate, make it, uh, making it even more enjoyable to eat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah.